Akira, why would you do that? Damn, like, I would've went back there too. It's I hate when everybody be in the store when I'm trying to go to the store. <laughs> it's definitely a lot. If you see it, you need to hurry up and kind of just get it, girl. Because Sis, I hate I gotta be the one to tell you this, but your bathroom towels are disgusting. <laughs> Which is why you need to switch to Simma's Gentle Face Cloths. I absolutely love these and thank you so much to Simma for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you suffer from acne, clogged pores, breakouts, and you're still drying your face with the washcloth, then you need to stop. You can pause to read. All the details about this will be on the screen and down in the description box below. The reason why I love these is because they absorb moisture and spills quickly. You can use these to remove your makeup. They're great for when traveling, camping, and did I mention so soft but durable? Look how hard I'm pulling. I am pulling those so dang hard. <laughs> so basically, I just wetted it and used it like it's basically replacing your towel. So I used it like I would my face towel. Even after this face cloth being wet, it still did not rip. It literally passed the rip test. So I definitely love this product. Definitely go check it out. It also helps reduce acne and breakouts. So I cannot wait to continue using this. As you can see, I use them wet and I use them dry. It is the perfect addition to your skincare routine. So don't forget to check the description box down below. Saturday, August 17th, 1.05 in the afternoon. Um, today is going to kind of be like, um, I don't know, spend a Saturday with me, self-care type of vlog. Um, I got some face masks and stuff for my birthday, and I haven't took a long little bubble bath in a minute, as well as just taking care of myself um, at home. So I cleaned up my whole apartment last night, so everything is spick and span. I just gotta fold towels because I just washed those. I'm currently cooking breakfast, if you can hear that. Um, I already took Prince out, fed him, so he's good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see where today brings us. I just wanted y'all basically to spend a Saturday with me, relaxing Saturday, productive, relaxing self-care Saturday, something along those lines. And if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. Um, I don't have any more edge control either, so I have to use some freaking um, gel for like when I have my curly hair. So I'm annoyed about that. Um, but I want this one specific type of edge control. I forgot what it's called. It's in my Amazon cart, but I don't feel like going to the beauty supply store because the beauty supply store is like on the other side of town to me. We ain't got none of that close to where I live. So I'll probably just order it from Amazon. Um, I do want to take these braids out though. I mean, the braids themselves still look good. It's just my freaking hair grows so fast. So I literally have, last time I measured, it was an inch of new growth almost a little bit past the inch so i know when i take this out y'all know i had just recently got my freaking hair completely blonde like from root to ends and like a fresh cut and everything if i feel like doing editing i'll pop up a picture but 
I'm like literally I got these in June 20th so it's almost August 20th so it'll be exactly two months um I was gonna take them out I have eight off days so I don't go back to work until next Thursday I picked up next Thursday so I was gonna take them out but I do I got kind of a busy week so it would be more beneficial to not have to worry about spending day there all day taking these out shampoo condition my real hair like it's just too much I know so I think I may keep them up towards the end of the month because I had planned to keep them up until the end of August anyway and then take it out and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. I do need to go to the store. Um, I want fresh flowers. If you can see, these are the flowers that I have right now. And these, I got some of these the day before my birthday and then I got the rest of them on my actual birthday. So they've completely died now. But I feel like that's a pretty good you know, a little lifespan for me <laughs> for the flowers because it's August 17th and I got those July 31st and August 1st, my birthday. So I need some more flowers. I really like to have white flowers out um, simply because the main area in my apartment is, you know, black, white, brown. So I feel like getting flowers that's colorful and stuff, I don't really care to do that. So I would much rather have white flowers. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to go um i know trader joe's have pretty good affordable flowers usually you know target my target now has flowers and then walmart is kind of hit or miss and then kroger is definitely out of the way of where i'm trying to go um so i don't know but i do need some i want white flowers is what i'm trying to find and then i do need to pick up some more seasoning so i need the tony's all-purpose seasoning and i need some more select your mama season it as well we're gonna cook today let me turn my baking girl before this burn you know i want to cook later today i'm not sure what order my youtube videos are freaking going to be in but i do become a hello fresh um subscriber i guess you can say so i may put that i may go ahead and put that with the other vlog i don't know we'll we'll see but if that vlog is first then you guys already know i'm subscribed to hello fresh if not I'm subscribed to HelloFresh. All I did was an unboxing of the meal. So um, I don't really know which one I want to cook. I decided to do the plan with um, three a week. So I got some tasty foods. I don't want to quite show y'all because like I said, I don't really know what order it's going to be in, but just know I am <laughs> subscribed to HelloFresh because the video already talked about everything that I'm about to tell y'all right now. So these two, um, the Southwest Beef Cava Taffy with green peppers and smoky red pepper cream. I'm not really a pepper girly like the green peppers and stuff. I can't eat peppers. It's just not me. Um, so I am probably going to be picking over the peppers. I'm going to keep them. Yeah, so you can see them clearly. So that's why I'm kind of scared to do this one because I can eat things that is cooked with peppers. Like I like that it gives flavor, but I can't just specifically eat, you know, the peppers and like onions and stuff like that. I cook with it, but I can't eat them. So then this one, y'all know I love me some mashed potatoes. I feel like the chicken is, I mean, it's just chicken breast. And then broccoli. I don't eat broccoli, but that is also why I need that seasoning. Because maybe if I season it to taste, I could probably be able to eat it. So this one I'm going to put back up here at top, at the top because I know I'm not cooking this one today. I just wanted to put y'all on real quick. Because if you shop at Aldi, then you probably already <laughs> had this or tried this. But let me put ice in my cup first. Cause sometimes I be putting ice after the drink and I'm like, Akira, why would you do that? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, all these juices are phenomenal. This one right here is their strawberry lemonade with natural flavors, never from concentrate. Like, the real stuff. The real stuff. I tried this yesterday and I was like, I'm never buying from Walmart or anywhere else again. <laughs> like, I think I already threw away. Yeah, I had a fruit punch from them as well. I don't know if I showed y'all talk to that, talk to y'all about that one, but the fruit punch as well, fire. It's like a dollar, I don't know, a dollar something. I saw a TikTok and a guy, um, y'all probably saw it, it was like a black guy, and <laughs> he wanted the fruit punch juice, but it was all the way in the back, so he couldn't find a worker to tell them to like, you know, push it to the front. And so he walked back behind and he literally pushed it himself one fit. Anyways, and I'm like, all that for some juice? All that for a dollar, like 99 juice, you know? 
girl i tried it and i'm like damn like i would have went back there too it tastes so good so i'm definitely gonna go back and get some more juice um so obviously i tried the strawberry lemonade i tried the fruit punch i'm probably just gonna get one of each because you can definitely tell there are no um like never from concentrate like no artificial flavors or anything it tastes so good it's so natural so fresh like i can't i just can't believe it um also got my almond milk and everything like that from them as well so definitely gonna keep getting my stuff from there and i think i told y'all my aldi's um trip was only 30 dollars, and i think i got quite a bit of stuff so i'm about to eat my little bit of breakfast drink my juice um i think we're gonna go ahead and head out to i'm gonna go ahead and go to kroger's simply because i typed in white flowers on my um like safari and it had popped up kroger's sam's club i'm not going to sam's club for the flowers dang sure not going to sam's club on no saturday just for some flowers so we're gonna go ahead and go to kroger's so that i can get my you know seasonings and stuff like that as well and then since i'm already gonna be on that side of town why won't we just go to marshall's <laughs> i'm not gonna go to home goods or anything because girl i would get in there and spend too much money i am gonna go to marshall's though because i want to try to find me another lip scrub the lip scrub that i have is almost out and i actually did purchase that from michael's so i do want to go to michael's and see if i can find like another lip scrub i really i really just want to go for the hygiene stuff skincare all of that jazz um i'm not really just going to shop i'll probably look around the store to see you know what they got in stock but i'm not necessarily just going for you know shopping shopping i just want to kind of window shop and look for skincare stuff so i'm about to put on one of um i am chelsea janae's vlogs she's in new york right now again <laughs> so i'm about to play this we're going to eat and then i'll talk to y'all when we um get to the car okay so i'm about to pack my purse i'm going to go ahead and take the coach tabby y'all know they got me this for my birthday recently um i definitely want to get the bigger size um i do like this one for a simple little you know on the go but i think i'm gonna buy myself the bigger size um i don't know if i'm gonna do black or get a different color um alexis a wilkie just posted the brown one cognac one whatever like this color so cute so i definitely want that one for this fall um i feel like she just got everybody on coach for sure these coach tabbies because i honestly have not seen anybody or really anybody really just rave about them until her so I do need to order um, the little coach wallet so that I can put all my debit cards and credit cards in. So like right now, I literally just have, here I can put this one in front. Literally I just had them all out and then I put them in this little bitty flap right here, little flip over one, cause it's really, really small. And it makes sure, it ensures me that it's not gonna come out because it has a magnet right there. So this is the one from Michael Kors that I like to use, but it's way too big. Um, like bulky so I definitely need to get that one from coach It's you know really slim and it has um it's like double sided and then you can put cash kind of in the middle of it so I got a little bit of cash I'm gonna go deposit that to the bank got my cards my license and stuff in here um and then I keep Germex but I'm gonna need some more because girl yeah we're out um and then I got my lip gloss I do take my airpods as well and then my phone and then i'm gonna have my camera so i'm gonna put all of this stuff in the back and then my little i'm gonna take my dji i'm gonna pocket three camera because this one that i'm vlogging on is the sony i'm taking this one but i'm gonna keep this one in the car it's saturday so it is saturday and i really uh, i hate when everybody be in the store when i'm trying to go to the store <laughs> and i know that sound crazy but that's why i like shopping through the week like give me a good monday tuesday even wednesday i feel like thursday friday saturday even sundays like usually most times people didn't used to really be in the stores on sundays now i feel like at least where i'm at people are really in the stores on sundays depending on the time so i love shopping early in the week so i can just go down every hour look at stuff how i want to look at stuff and then of course like i'll be vlogging and stuff so i be want to you know do what i do and i can't really do that when everybody in a mama up in there so i'm gonna fill this up with my refrigerator has filtered water as well but that just takes a little bit longer to fill rather than using this one um y'all should see this 
in a separate dedicated video it was a sponsorship and i actually really really like it so definitely go check that out it's like a three or four minute video and i'll tell y'all all about it and they send me some really really cool stuff so it literally cleans your water especially if you don't have a um refrigerator like mine that you know gives you uh filtered water so i definitely like that so that's what i use to fill my cup up with we about to go ahead and go it's 153 um i don't want to be out too long i just need some flowers need to get the seasoning from kroger's and then we're gonna head to marshall's i forgot i had a support gift card as well but i'm not really the type of person with comment down below when you get a gift card are y'all the type of person to hurry up and go like try to spend it like you'll go to the store to try to find something instead of you know kind of just waiting until you're you know in sephora or you're like oh like oh i forgot i got a car you know let me just use it for this order that i'm already about to you know purchase that's kind of me um i don't really like to just try to go find stuff and try to hurry up and spend it i like to keep it 75 dollars on there so next time i go you know maybe want to perfume try some new products what have you is when i really plan on using it Ooh. <laughs> so yeah i'm not gonna go to sephora because i do want to come back and really relax and cook take a boat bath all of that stuff so we're about to go ahead and head out girl real quick before we do head out though i got on this cute little two-piece set it's actually from forever 21 i ordered it online so i'm not sure if you can find it in store but i literally ordered it like sometime last year and then i decided to go with gold um y'all know i've been a silver girly forever so i've always worn silver out so i decided to put on gold obviously these are my house shoes i don't wear shoes in the house uh, i'm just gonna put on some black slides to match with the bag and that's it but i'm liking the gold what y'all think I, I feel like it has to grow on me a little bit because i am so used to wearing silver so i'm gonna keep on gold for like the next few weeks and see if i'm really a gold or a silver girly um but yeah, then I got my gold frames. I mean, not my gold frames, my black frame zone. So that's why my accessories is, you know, black. And then I got a cute little gold anklet on down there. And this is trash, need to be taken out. Um, say that for my boyfriend. He usually comes over here after he gets out of his church service. His church is a little bit longer than mine um, because he goes to our church. <laughs> and then I go to a church. So my church only about an hour <laughs> and his church on black people time okay so um anyway <laughs> yeah let me let me go let me go let me go so just left out of Kroger's it is so packed in there um and it's dark because I got my little sun visor thing up so there you go um it's hot as hell in there and it's packed I should have known on Saturdays I'm not doing anything else on Saturdays like going to the store because it'd be so many people out like obviously people that work through the weekend stuff they'll wait to the weekend to do stuff so I like to go out to stores shopping and all of that like Monday Tuesdays Wednesdays early in the morning even Sunday but Sundays you got to go like really early because at this point Sundays are starting to be packed as well if y'all hear something it's this little bitty fan my air is still not fixed and it's hot as hell um, my windows are down it's not as bad when I'm like driving and if I like leave out early in the morning it don't be as bad but I picked up some white flowers super cute I need to hurry and get those in some water because they don't they don't look bad but I can tell they're probably only gonna last about a week um, I got some more smoothie straws they're milkshake milkshake straws I always get them from Kroger they're a really really good brand and they last a while and then I got my Tony's seasoning we're gonna go ahead and head to Marshall's in this it's in the same shopping center so that's good I just have to go literally a store over if you can see Kroger's right here and Marshall's is literally right there with five below so I'm gonna go ahead and go there so I can get into some um, air because it's hot as hell hey y'all we're back at home now so it is 3 41 in the evening remind me to never go shopping on a saturday <laughs> because oh my gosh i was so overly stimulated it is so many people in there 
everybody, especially in Marshalls with the hygiene section and all of that, it's a really, really small aisle and it's really not big at all. Sir, <laughs> it's like he wait until I record to start doing this. Stop it. It's like I was saying. <laughs> Remind me to never go shopping on a Saturday because my God, girl, it is so many people out. Um, I was gonna go to Home Goods and kind of you know like all the stores just to kind of look around and just window shop, browse, see what they got. But no, can't do it. I'm gonna have to go on like very, very early Sunday morning, like right when they open, or I'm gonna have to just keep my shopping to like Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, things like that because I can't do it on the weekend. I am gonna do y'all. Give y'all a quick little Marshalls haul. My stuff is behind me. We're gonna go ahead and get into this bag first because this is what is for me, mostly. So, I got these, don't even know how to pronounce this brand. It's a 12 pack of replacement brush heads. Y'all know, um, y'all saw me in this vlog. I actually used the um, electric Oral-B um, like brush spin head or whatever. So mine came with three different type of spin heads, but this one is like, they look like all the same type of spin head, but you get 12 reusable ones. So it says it's compatible with Oral-B Genius Smart and Pro. It does not fit the IO rechargeable 3D white complete and gum care battery. I don't know which one I got. So I'm gonna open it up and see if it fits one of mine. If it don't fit, I'm taking it back to, um, so yeah, we're gonna see if this works. But I, if this actually does fit, I think that'd be so convenient because I was just gonna go to Target and rebuy some um, brush heads because it is time for me to replace it. You're supposed to replace them. The Oral-B app say, depending on how much you use it, it's usually about like two to three months. So I feel like a pack of 12, this is perfect because you go through these really, really quickly and I am on my last brush head. So hopefully these work because if so, that'd be a good steal. Other thing I got is the Envy brand Vitamin C and Vitamin E Glow Boosting Eye Cream promotes radiant, glowing skin, and reduces puffiness. I definitely was looking for something like this. It was $5.99. Um, I was the first person to like even open this or anything because sometimes Marshalls and places like that, they be having a beauty product. You know, people be opening them up, and I don't necessarily open them or like break the seal of things unless like i know for sure like okay i'm probably going to buy this because some of the stuff you can tell was dug into and it, it just don't be looking good so i did open this myself um and i was the first person to open it and break it so yeah just some vitamin c and vitamin e eye cream um i'm definitely looking for a brightener and something to just reduce puffiness so i'll tell you how i like this and if it actually works or not other thing i got this is an age lip sleeping mask ex and berry this was $16.99 at marshall's i'm gonna have to go on sephora and see if this is actually a deal or not um they had two more but the other two was actually dug into and i'm like why would y'all do that <laughs> so this is how it looks if you don't already have this or seen it in sephora or somewhere mine is completely unbothered <laughs> it says it expires in 20 27 so i feel like that's pretty good it also comes with a cute little bitty applicator as well so you don't have to dig in there i think someone actually used this little bit little bitty applicator at marshall's and like dug in there because it was like a hole and it looks like about the size of this so i like that it comes with that mine was untouched and then it also comes with a little um pamphlet as well i'm about to actually search and see how much it said compared to 25 dollars. so i feel like this is cheaper okay yes definitely not lying it is 24 dollars at sephora all right so i think i got a deal we just gonna say i got a deal <laughs> i cannot wait to use this tonight this is gonna be part of my little self-care day today and then i've got oh i love this brand so the truly brand is the brand that i had my last lips lip scrub in i got a little bit left i was looking for that as well so truly they have a lot of truly in marshall's um this is their acai your boobs boot polish firm and tighten um and it smells good i mean i'm probably just going to use this all over my body it say boobs but i'll probably just use this just to kind of moisturize but it smells so good and i love how that brand is just kind of like it looked like whipped cream honestly and they had the truly they had a lip balm but you can tell somebody like dug their finger in there which was definitely nasty this one look untouched it still has all the little like whip filling or whatever in there so definitely excited to try this they also have the truly um it was like a pineapple 
brightening type of like serum i'm not really big on pineapple so i didn't get it i did have it in my car but i'm like akira oh you can you don't like pineapple so the smell would have definitely probably got to me but this is what i got it was 9.99 compared to 16.99 so yeah my marshalls always have this truly brand up in there a lot this was 6.99 it um just some nivea um body wash this one smells really good I like the smell of it. They had this one and then it had just a regular kind. Um, you can never have too much body wash. I know I said I was gonna try to wait into my hygiene uh, video <laughs> to start buying all the hygiene stuff, but I just couldn't wait on this type of stuff. So, and you know, Marshall's places like that is kind of places like if you see it, you need to hurry up and kind of just get it girl because it's probably not gonna be there again. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. And then I also got this for Prince. I'm trying to get in the habit of really brushing his teeth like I'm supposed to. Um, I did it a few days ago when I gave him a bath. I'm going to give him another bath either tonight or tomorrow. I may say that task for tomorrow because today I just want to chill and relax. Um, but anyways, his toothbrush, he got a toothbrush with a bigger head on there and then a smaller one. Um, I used to use it for when I had Oreo. I would use like the bigger side for oreo and then the smaller side for prince but even then prince still really don't let me brush his teeth too much like he'll sit there for a good like five six seconds and then he'll stop so this one the other one that i had came with a little like the little piece that you put your finger in but it didn't have like an actual brush head on there it was kind of like a real it was like this just same material like real ragged type of material like rubbery material so since this one actually have a little like toothbrush end on it i think he may let me do this one since it'll like just be on my finger and i like a brush me trying to like you know <laughs> do that to him um but it did come with a cute little like gel toothpaste so i'll probably try this one he actually has uh like an actual like dog toothpaste that's not like gel so anyways i got this it was on sale for 450 so why not um i really just bought it for the brush heads because he already got toothpaste and then other thing i got i got him these these are 9.99 i need to look up this brand because like i said it was too much going on in there i didn't really have time to just sometimes before i buy dog treats and things of that nature i will go research them um especially because it's usually brands you know i ain't never heard of i don't know nothing about this so i usually try to do some type of research but it was too many people in there so this is for small dogs five to 25 pounds it's just the uh, i guess you pronounce it box bakis i don't know box brushy sticks dental bars coconut and mint flavor all natural dog treats 26 dental bars i got it because it said all natural um wheat free baked in the usa you can definitely smell the mint boy i hope he likes this because stuff like i used to get him the dental sticks um what are those the greenies greenies <laughs> um those are kind of a little bit too minty i feel like and since it was too minty he didn't really f with it and you can definitely smell the mint on this which is good because obviously i want you know his breath to not be stinking so i do hope that he liked this um it's coconut and mint flavor he's already jumping up for it y'all can see <laughs> down good boy Look, like wait what the is this see i hope you like it prince is the type of dog to when he gets treats if he not like already just hungry hungry he will go hide it somewhere around the house and then i will like find it and then he'll go back and eat it like a few days or so later so like right now he's walking around with it i'm gonna close this door so that he can't like leave out of here and like hide it because i want to see if he actually eats it if he don't eat it then i'll probably try to return it or he'll probably try to hide it somewhere in here and then i also got some of this little bitty cute um these are 5.99 just some training reward treats um i don't really have any more treats in here for prince he got like bacon and stuff but i do want to kind of start teaching him a little bit more just commands and tricks like he you know sit down stand up you know come um all of those basic commands but i kind of want to teach him like roll over to, like you know just those other tricks because he is really smart he's six years old so i feel like that'd be pretty easy to kind of train him so i got those and then the last thing that i got is a new dog um bowl set life is better with cats i don't know why i say that is it supposed to be like a 
I don't know what he got. I don't know, girl, but I got it for my dog. It was $12.99 compared to $20. Y'all know this is the aesthetic that I like to give for prints. Um, because my cabinets in my kitchen are brown. So I feel like it just matches in perfectly with my home decor and stuff. So I do like to give like brown food bowls and stuff like that. And especially something that's elevated. I learned that that kind of helps the dog eating and digestive system. So definitely give something that's elevated. And yeah, that's my little Marshall's haul. Um, that's all I got. I think I'm about to go ahead and put this stuff up. And then I am going to go ahead and start. Dang, where did he put that? I can't find it. I should have been watching him. He don't got it in his mouth no more. He put it somewhere. I know it's in this room though. <laughs> I want to go ahead and put this stuff up and then we're going to start cooking. I'm excited to um, try my first Hello Fresh meal ever. Um, so yeah. And then after that, I'm going to cook, take a little bath, and then I'll probably either read um, or watch somebody's YouTube channel. And then I'll probably edit, like in my night editing, either this vlog that you guys are watching now or I'm gonna edit another vlog that I would like to post on Sunday. So this vlog, obviously, you'll see from the beginning of the video has a sponsored portion in it. So those have to be like accepted and stuff. And today is Saturday and I don't really have a video. I got a video that I could post Sunday, but Sunday, you know, I like to really just post like, you know, like an actual vlog vlog. This video is a what's in my purse video. So I like to post those type of videos on like Thursdays. So yeah, I'll probably edit a video that I got just saved that needs to be edited. <laughs> and there's no sponsor in that one. So I'll probably just post that one on Sunday. But yeah, I'm gonna put this up and we're gonna get cooking. Because Baby, I'm just saying, do what you wanna do. I feel like I should have cut them a little bit shorter. Um, but they've been out of water for a long while, so I'll probably redo that tomorrow because ooh, and the thorns on these are crazy. All right, so let's get to it. Welcome back to a cook with me. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna cook the spicy maple chicken. Go ahead and do this one. Um, I'm about to take out all the ingredients that came with it. You got spicy maple chicken. It's the one I opened too. I'm super excited for this. Like, Y'all just don't even know. I would say peel first if desired. So I'm gonna peel a little bit off just because I don't want all that skin. And some of like, it got a few little weird pieces too on there. So we gonna peel a little bit of it. I got this fruit and veggie wash right here and I'm gonna use my new thing from Ikea that I bought. And we're just gonna pour the broccoli in here. Like I said, I don't eat broccoli. Y'all know I don't eat no vegetables. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to season this like all the way up. that on them. I'm just gonna toss it. And another around a little bit. I'm glad I bought this little thing from Ikea. <laughs> Definitely makes the cleaning process a lot easier. Now it says, I'm not gonna lie, this broccoli stinks. Like, oh my gosh. In a small bowl combined the maple syrup, pinch of salt and chili flakes, and then set aside. Like, no lie. Ooh, if I had like a very, very weak stomach, it would definitely make me throw up because it stinks so bad. A pinch of salt, that should be cool. And then chili flakes, I don't want too much. I'm gonna put a little bit just because the recipe calls for it, but I know I don't want too much spice. So we just gonna do a little bit of these flakes. Cause, ooh, that's definitely a lot. It's definitely a lot. It says to mix in one tablespoon of butter and then put that in the microwave to um, melt for 30 seconds. All right, start in the breadcrumbs, it says. I season them. Honey, I would never cook like this on my own, <laughs> like ever. So that's why I'm super excited 
to have hello fresh to really make me feel like baby i'll be up in the kitchen really whipping it up a vision i see the vision now i know what to use breadcrumbs for because i bought some breadcrumbs like they're literally in my pantry and i was like you know what i know this is a good pantry item to like just keep in your pantry like i don't know what to use them for but i'm gonna keep them and baby now i know what to use breadcrumbs for i got some chicken breasts as well in my um freezer so baby i can literally make this meal by myself this is why i wanted hello first so that i can discover you know new ways of cooking and then they it's just easier literally the convenience and discovering new ways to um cook food and new recipes and new meals and stuff okay so that's good I call for a brushing so i'm just gonna oil this side we're gonna put the chicken on this side at the top of your chicken with sour cream so i'm gonna open up this yucky sour cream I don't like sour cream, but I can eat sour cream like in it. Cause I use sour cream for um, chicken enchiladas. So I can like use it for that. But other than that, I can't do no sour cream. All right, sour cream is evenly spreaded to give it some flavor. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna toss it. Gotta make the day <laughs> smoke a lot. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, done with the food. Um, potatoes done. Broccoli and chicken is done. Did get a little, not really crispy, but you know, you know, you know, a little crispy. So I should have probably did. Those are a few crispy pieces, but I think I need my broccoli to be like fully cooked like this. I may sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it um, after I take a picture of it and stuff. But yeah, so I think I seasoned it up pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try it. The chicken looks really, really good. Uh -oh, I just messed it up a little bit. So here's how this one look. Oh uh, yeah, so it definitely came off on the bottom. That's why they probably said don't worry about the bottom because yeah, it's just gonna come off anyway. All right, here's the big reveal. Five, four, three, two, one. Period, you can't tell me my food don't look like this picture. You can't tell me. Baby girl. Baby girl. <laughs> All right, let me get a quick flick for Instagram and the thumbnail because yeah, get into it, get into it, get into it. All right, so ah, why y'all so close? Get on my plate. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the first impressions with y'all. Got my strawberry lemonade from Aldi because girl, this tastes so good. It's literally cracking a bottle, not gonna lie. So I did put none of the red pepperly maple syrup stuff on there just yet because y'all know me. I don't, I don't be doing the extra stuff. I don't really like stuff like that. So I may sprinkle a little bit on the side. And like I said, there's too many red pepper flakes in here anyway. So I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave it to the side. It looks really, really nice. It, I feel like my plating is top tier. <laughs> okay. Well. I do have a picture, but still, planning is top tier. I cannot, I just, Hello Fresh sponsor me! <laughs> because I just love this. Like, this Hello Fresh is bringing me so much happiness, but it's also just checking off a lot of boxes for me. I keep saying it, like the convenience, having everything delivered to your door, um, the plating, it made me feel like I'm, you know, on master chef, like we just knock everything out. I've already tasted the potatoes because maybe I've been eating on them this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so I know how they taste. I know they're gonna be good, especially because I put a little bit of um, onion powder and garlic powder, salt, pepper, and I added a little bit more butter than it said to add. So, and I also added heavy whipping cream, and the recipe don't call for that. So I did add a little bit of extra. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece right here that's in this uh, that's in the potatoes, and we're gonna go ahead and taste it. Yeah, chicken is definitely done. Mmm, got a crunch to it too. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a chicken breast, but it's coated, you know, to make it a little bit more crunchy. Um, I like it. I'm scared to put that maple syrup on there 
I really am. I may just dip it because, you know, I don't want to mess up my meal. I'm going to dip it a little bit and see what it tastes like. So y'all know I actually dipped it. Because, <laughs> I mean, syrup with chicken is definitely giving breakfast, like brunch. It said chili flakes and a touch of heat and death to this classic breakfast um, condiment. So... Mm. it's not bad I'm gonna try the broccoli cause y'all know <laughs> girl I'm scared why well, I'm scared to try broccoli I feel like I'm a little kid again and my parents make me eat broccoli oh my gosh I'm really nervous y'all what am I about to do alright I'm gonna try this little bitty piece I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip in a little bit of that uh, syrup too cause why not Okay, I'm a very texture person. So the texture of the broccoli is definitely gonna have to get, like I'm gonna have to get used to that. But since I did put in the Tony's um, Creole seasoning and I did like, I actually seasoned the broccoli like with my own seasons, I just didn't do salt and pepper. And I did dip it in the maple syrup. Honestly, not gonna lie, I can eat it with this meal. Is broccoli a vegetable I'm gonna like pick on my own no but if it comes with my meal i now know how to like season it up to my liking so i mean it's not bad is it my favorite no but am i gonna eat it yeah because i mean i paid for the damn <laughs> box so i do need a little bit more pepper on that broccoli not gonna lie but other than that i feel like it's pretty okay i was gonna put cheese on it but mm, got time for that but yeah i guess i'll get this meal because you gotta braid it on your um hello fresh too so i'll get this meal with like the whole meal with everything that you know you're supposed to eat it with and all of that i'll give the whole meal a solid a solid nine out of ten now well, I'll, well, I'll do 8.5 out of 10 because I'm not a fan of the red pepper flakes. I just don't like too much spice. Um, the maple syrup, you know, it's cool. So I give it about an 8.5 out of 10 overall. I got these from Amazon. Um, I like to have glass containers now. It's just better for you. So you can find these on Amazon in my Amazon storefront. Um, I like to always put my leftovers in these. I have some that doesn't have these like dividers. So basically they're just like those, but I'm like, you know what? I really be trying to meal prep. So I decided to get these ones. Um, I went ahead and ate the big piece of chicken because baby girl, I was hungry, but also because this piece of chicken is a lot smaller. So we're just gonna like stuff that down in here like that. Just like that, you got you a good little balanced meal. This is definitely something that I could like take to work. That's why I love these containers. They're airtight, absolutely love them. And it's This bath salt just reminded me of the experience that I had today at Marshall's. Why was this lady, so first off, it was already packed as hell in there. So I'm, you know, looking, browsing the little, you know, lip stuff, moisturizers, all of that, body wash. And this lady comes in by like six bags of the soaking uh, Epsom salt. And she's just pick up one, throw it in the bag, pick up one, throw it in the bag. And it's like multiple people on the aisle and like, I don't care to move out of people's way, but when people don't say excuse me, I swear to God that pissed me off so bad. And it's usually who don't ever say excuse me, like they just walk in front of you. So I'm literally standing there waiting for her to say excuse me, which the first five, the six bags she picked up, it was like beside me, like over there. But it was some, it was a different brand of Epsom salt, like up under me. And then she was looking whatever and she was moving, you know, trying to get over there first or whatever. And then she was like, excuse me. And then I moved. But it's like, is it that hard to say excuse me? And then I get all of my stuff like, baby, why do you need 20 bags of Epsom salt? What you doing? Anyways, 
I was in the um, checkout line, right? So I'm standing there, and I hate when the checkout line is so long. It literally was wrapping around at Marshalls, and I hate when someone try to go through you and not say excuse me. Like, if you're about to walk through someone who's literally this close to somebody else like that, why not say excuse me? You already know who it was. So it was a older white lady with a basket and then like a, i guess like a younger maybe like her daughter looked like she like she was in her 30s or something so the white lady the older white lady just rode on through us like literally almost rode over my damn toes and then the i guess her daughter i'm just assuming the younger one she was just like excuse us like yeah fucking say excuse me i hate when people do that that pissed me off so bad that's ooh, i don't know about y'all but i swear to god that pissed me off <laughs> so Pouring that Epsom salt in the tub just made me think of both of them. Like, why do, why do people do that? Why? Just say excuse me. I literally, if someone's on an aisle, like today in Kroger's when I went, somebody was looking at bread. The bread is, the bread is this right here. The person was all the way back here. And I walked in front. I still said excuse me because I'm still walking in your way. Like, people just be rude as hell for no reason. I don't get it. But my um, bath water is running obviously i'm going to go ahead and run my bath water because i do like my bath to be really really hot so sometimes i do have to um i do like my bath to be really really hot so sometimes i do have to um like wait to get in so while i'm waiting for that to fill up and for it to kind of cool down i want to go ahead and clean up the rest of my little mess that i made and why was prince just in the bath not not in the bathtub but he was like <laughs> His paws is on the edge of that looking in there. Baby, you're not getting the, uh, you're not about to get a bath this time. It's, it's your mama, it's me. So yeah, it's still filling up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little nighttime skin here. Um, these are also from Amazon as well. I bought these in a pack of two. So they should be linked in under like personal items or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'm going to cleanse my face again. So I grow 111 skin. You're supposed to use this at nighttime after you cleanse your face and use toner. So I actually really like that. And my best friend, this is one of my birthday gifts from my best friend. She got me a lot of masks and like stuff from Ulta. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating um, Hydro Mask. Whole bunch of stuff. So leave this on for about 15 minutes. I do like to, I don't know, I think some people are different. Since I was actually out, um, like since I was like actually out, y'all know I ain't got no air and stuff like that in the car right now. So I like to get in the shower real quick first and then I hop into the bathtub um, when I know like I really do need to like cleanse and stuff because a bath to me is just, you know, you just sit there to relax. I don't really, I don't really like to get in the bathtub dirty because it just seemed like, you know, you just sitting in your own dirt. So I don't really like that. So I like to go get in the shower real quick and then after I hop in the shower, I'll go ahead and get into the bathtub. So I do actually have two boxes of the um, Sema Gentle Face Cloth. So y'all know I have a two bed, two bath apartment. So since I do skincare in both of my bathrooms, like I got skincare in this one and that one, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this box of these face towels. And I'm gonna keep one in my guest bathroom as well because I be in here a lot too. Um, this is where I like do my makeup and wipe off all of my makeup. So you can use, you literally can use these. I'm pretty sure I told y'all I'm getting a lot, but you can use these to just wash your face. You can use it to wipe off your makeup, like a whole bunch of things. So, and it's one time use. So I'm gonna keep it in here. Um, I don't really have too many guests, but the random times, you know, if I do, this will be here for them. Ah! That's why I don't like doing this, because I feel like I be drowning myself. A little thingy broke that I like to use the aesthetics you know it's broke but it's not broke like I don't know what happened to the screws so basically at the back of this you like screw it's like little bitty baby screws right there so all I need to do is find those baby screws and put those back on here but it fell I don't know where the screws went so yeah Maybe I can like go get some screws or whatever, but basically I need to like put some more screws right there. So I feel like I'm scared to use it there because I don't want it to like fall. I don't think I'm 
going to be using this because if I don't put nothing on it, I feel like, you know, it looks cool. But since I don't have nothing to support that, like if I try to put a phone or something right there, I feel like it'll probably like break, like break into and then fall down and I don't need my phone being messed up. So. All right, I'm out the shower, feeling really, really good. Um, I don't know why I look so, <laughs> I don't know, my face is definitely more tan than the rest of my body, but I forgot, let me turn this TV off. So I have a robe on just because, obviously I'm about to get in the tub, but I have forgot, I got this in PR. It's from um, Yanni Best or Yanni Best, Shine On, Fresh Up and Be Radiant. Um, I had already unboxed, I opened it, but I opened it like earlier in this week. And if you saw this morning when I had on that bonnet, that was actually from them. Um, so they sent me some PR and I just thought about it because when I got the shower, I'm like, dang, like I need a shower cap. I should have put a shower cap on. Girl, I think I got a shower cap sent to me. So this is the box that that first bonnet had came in. Um, that I wore in the beginning of the vlog. So since I got braids and stuff, and that bonnet is really, really long for you to be able like to put your braids, whatever, like any type of long hairstyle that you have. And this one, it says a satin bonnet. So I got a few things from them and I wanted to open them up real quick because I am about to go sit in that tub. And every time I sit in there, like it don't matter, my head somehow um, always gets wet, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say they me the same thing. So the first bonnet looks exactly like this. It's just, it got that long, like it's a very, very long bonnet for you to put all of your hair in. So this one is just a regular bonnet that you put on and then literally super cute, you tie it in the top. Um, Y'all know brown, it's obviously my aesthetics. So I decided to get it in brown. Shower cap, yes, it's a one size. Um, So obviously I got all these braids and stuff. So for my actual real hair, I feel like it'll be fine. It it kind of got a little, you know, stretch to it. I'm still gonna use it or at least try to because I really, really need a shower cap. But this is super cute with a little bow. How cute is that? And then I got, oh, Heatless Curling Rods. Y'all know I swear by these. My other ones that I had got was from Amazon, but those are really flimsy, not gonna lie. <laughs> and they're not the best two cute little scrunchies definitely about to use one of these right now and then it come with really really good claw clip and then this is the little heatless curling rod oh yeah i can already tell the quality of this one is so much better so basically what you do is put it on your hair if you had a sew in or just your regular hair you'll wrap it around and then you'll just oop, basically tie it and i love how this one is so flexible and then you would just tie it like that so the one that i have it feels like it's a metal rod in there so it like it don't just do what you want it to do it literally it's like a rod in there it's one big rod and this one i don't feel any type of rod in here so i feel like that'd be really really nice to be able to sleep on because it just feels like honestly it just feels like a pillow so i definitely like that thank you y'all okay definitely go check that out and then I got one more thing from them. Um, can't really remember what the hell this is. Oh, uh, girl, I forgot all about this. So I have three claw clips. The packaging is nice. Um, this is so amazing. I definitely needed all of this stuff. Y'all know I just bought that one brown claw clip from Target. But oh my gosh, y'all get into the quality. Like listen to that. So I got a cute, like an army green or olive green. That'd be perfect for this winter time and fall time. I got this cute cream color. Might use one of those too while I get in the tub. And then I got a cute purple color. Super cute. Oh my gosh, thank y'all so much. Oh, I guess you can like cover your eyeballs too. I may do that when I'm laying back in there. Okay, this is gonna be cold as hell. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't did a face mask in so long. This is like the ultimate self-care right here. 
just the good old face mask yeah get into it it actually wasn't that cold but it definitely feels really really good on the skin um i love neutrogena definitely that girl i'm just going to kind of rub it in a little bit so it can stay on my face and then these are like little eye flips so if i do get in the tub and like want to close my eyes i can just flip it up over my eyeballs minutes Who's texting me? Please leave me alone. It's me time going on right now. <laughs> Poop. I also brought this in here to use because it said you can use it in the bathtub or the shower. So since I'm getting in the bathtub, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. All right, so I just got out of the tub. I was watching um, Chelsea Janae, one of her vlogs. And when I tell y'all that bubble bath was everything that I needed and more, like, oh my gosh, I just put my jewelry back on. We're gonna go ahead and take this off now. This Neutrogena, the Hydro Boost one, I kid y'all not, feels amazing. Okay, right, so it's been about 20 30 minutes since I last talked to y'all. Um, still drinking on some wine. Get down. <laughs> still drinking out some wine um i was just gonna go ahead and end it here it's um seven something right now i did want to say though as i'm watching youtube chelsea's vlog she was talking about this um kosas air brow gel tint that she used and i always like every time she do her brows i'm like how do they you know look like that like how does she basically carve them out and stuff and it's this stuff right here. Um, $24 at Sephora. So I'm going to pick it up and see um, how do I like it. But so far, looking at it on her, it's literally like brow um, mascara. And it like makes your brows stick up. And then all she does is just basically conceal them and like shape them. And I'm like, oh, it's so cute because it, it makes it look so much more natural. So even with using a um, brow pencil and stuff like that, like I still feel like it still looks a little bit too drawn on. Like obviously it's drawn on, but I just want that natural look. So remember how I was talking about beginning of the vlog, I don't want to just go to Sephora just to go, you know, like I really want to have stuff that I actually want to buy. This is at Sephora, $24. So I added it to my card. Y'all know I got that gift card. So when I do actually go, I'm gonna use that gift card for then, but I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. My battery's about to die as well. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Um, I like doing little like day vlogs. I did that productive day in the life and y'all seem to really like that. So comment down below if y'all like daily vlogs as well. I'm um, still gonna do the weekly vlogs. It's just the daily vlogs are a lot easier. Like all you gotta do is just edit all the stuff from one to two days so that's pretty much it but yeah subscribe on the way to 50k don't forget to subscribe and yeah i will see you lovelies in my next video bye guys